Have you ever tripped and fallen, colliding face first with the unforgiving ground? It's embarrassing, but what if I told you that the universe itself is a messy place where galaxies, stars, and even black holes can take a similar tumble? And by tumble, I mean cataclysmic events so massive that they make your little fall look like a speck of dust in the grand timeline of cosmic ballet. So, what's the deal with all this cosmic clashing and crashing? Well, hold on to your hats and maybe grab a helmet, because today we're diving headfirst into the epic, universe-shaking phenomena known as cosmic collisions. Now, what exactly is a cosmic collision? Ah, it's not your everyday fender bender, it's a collision so enormous that you need to invent new words just to describe it. So let's start small. Or should I say, Earth-sized small. Ever heard of the dinosaurs? Well, they heard of something big too, right before they went extinct. The extinction, a tale as old as time. Or at least as old as the 66 million year old layer of iridium in the Earth's crust a telltale sign of a cosmic collision involving a massive asteroid. When I say cosmic collision, you might be picturing a simple crash or bump in the night sky, but that's like calling the Mona Lisa a doodle. A cosmic collision is a massive event involving the intersection of celestial objects, whether it be asteroids, stars, galaxies, or even black holes. So how big are we talking here? Let's take a step back. Imagine taking a bowling ball and dropping it onto a trampoline. The fabric warps, dips, and stretches, right? In a similar way, when massive objects like stars or galaxies collide, they don't just affect each other, they warp the very fabric of space-time itself. But unlike your trampoline, the scale here is unimaginably vast. We're talking about objects so large, they make our Earth look like a grain of sand on an endless beach. It's awe-inspiring and perhaps a bit terrifying to consider the energies involved. For instance, when two neutron stars collide, they can release more energy in a fraction of a second than our sun will produce in its entire lifetime. Kind of makes that time you accidentally bumped your car into a shopping cart seem a bit trivial doesn't it? But these aren't just meaningless events of destruction. Oh no, they're far more poetic than that. Cosmic collisions are like the universe's way of recycling, turning old celestial bodies into new formations, creating elements, and perhaps even setting the stage for life as we know it. Speaking of life as we know it, ever wonder what would happen if a large piece of space rock decided to pay us a direct visit? Well, let's just say you wouldn't need to worry about your plans for next weekend, or any weekend after that. Let's dive a little deeper into the small but impactful world of asteroid and meteorite collisions. You see, asteroids and meteorites are like the universe's postal service, sometimes delivering elements essential for life, and other times sending ominous eviction notices. But if we zoom out, we find that these celestial mail carriers are just small actors on a far grander stage. The universe is filled with collisions on a scale that make asteroids seem like mere grains in a cosmic sandbox. Remember Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system? It's like the celestial bouncer. Its immense gravitational pull guiding rogue asteroids and comets away from us. Sometimes though, Jupiter takes one for the team. Like in 1994, when the comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 broke apart and slammed into its atmosphere, creating fireballs so enormous they were visible from Earth. And let's not forget about our beloved moon, so calm and serene from our vantage point. But its craters tell a tale of a tumultuous past, one of violent impacts and a birth story so deeply tied to a cosmic collision that probably involved Earth itself. All right. We've given a nod to the asteroids and meteorites, our cosmic neighbors that like to drop by, though sometimes uninvited. Because now, we're about to go big. R Imagine not just a rock, not just a planet, but an entire galaxy crashing into another. You might be picturing two spiral galaxies slamming into each other like cosmic frisbees. 
But the reality is even stranger and way cooler. When galaxies collide, it's not like a car crash with metal crunching and pieces flying everywhere. No, it's more like a cosmic dance on a universal scale. Galaxies are mostly empty space, and the stars within them are so far apart, they often pass right by each other during a collision. Think about it. You and I are more likely to win the lottery while getting struck by lightning than two stars are to directly collide during a galactic merger. So what does collide? Well, it's the interstellar gas and dust, and when these do, they create some of the most fantastic light shows you can imagine. But the story doesn't end with some galactic fireworks. These collisions can trigger the birth of new stars and even give rise to supermassive black holes at the center of merging galaxies. And get this, our Milky Way is on a collision course with our larger neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy. But don't cancel your dinner plans for tomorrow. The celestial rendezvous isn't expected to happen for another 4 billion years. And when it does, it's going to be less of a catastrophe and more of a cosmic merger, a joining of galactic families, if you will. Let's talk about something even more mind-bending than galactic collisions. Yes, let's venture into the realm where even light can't escape, into the mysterious world of colliding black holes. Imagine not one, but two of these enigmatic objects spiraling towards each other in a deadly cosmic waltz. When black holes collide, it's not just an event, it's an extravaganza, a spectacle that defies our everyday understanding of physics. You see, black holes are so dense that nothing, not even light, can escape their gravitational pull. So when two of them get close enough, they begin to warp and twist, not just themselves, but the very fabric of space-time. As they spiral closer and closer, they reach velocities that are a significant fraction of the speed of light. And then, snap, crackle, pop, they merge into an even more massive black hole sending gravitational waves rippling across the universe, like the cosmic equivalent of throwing a stone into a pond. But how do we know this happens if we can't even see it? It's a great question. The answer lies in the art of listening. Well, not with our ears, but with incredibly sophisticated instruments designed to detect those very gravitational waves. In 2015, this was precisely what LIGO the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory did. It heard the universe for the first time, confirming that black hole collisions are more than just theoretical mumbo jumbo, they are visceral, universe shaking events. From rocks zipping by Earth to entire galaxies getting cozy to black holes ringing the universe like a bell, we've covered some immense cosmic ground. But what about tomorrow? What does Earth's future hold? in this grand cosmic arena. I'm glad you're still here, because that means you're just as curious about Earth's cosmic future as I am. We've navigated the universe of possible collisions, but can we do anything to avoid being the strike in a cosmic game of bowling? Fascinatingly, the answer is evolving from a maybe to a probably. First, let's talk detection. Telescopes and other observational tools are getting more advanced by the day. Projects like the PAN-STARS, or the Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System, scan the sky continuously, looking for objects that could potentially get too close for comfort. The better we get at spotting these space wanderers, the more time we have to do something about them. And doing something about them is becoming less of a sci-fi dream and more of a scientific reality. Methods range from the gentle nudge approach, where a spacecraft slowly alters an asteroid's course, to the more Hollywood-style nuclear deflection. While the former is less dramatic, it's also a lot less likely to turn the asteroid into a shower of smaller, but still dangerous, fragments. And with space missions like NASA's DART, the Double Asteroid Redirect Test, we're not just talking about these methods, we're actually testing them. So in the future, where we're getting better at spotting cosmic threats and have developed real strategies to deflect them, Earth might stand a chance in this cosmic demolition derby. After all, knowledge isn't just power. In this case, it might be survival. But as always, the future is unwritten, 
and it's up to us to make it a story worth telling. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean so much if you left a like on it, and be sure to check out this next one on screen and continue your journey through the cosmos.